Okay, next on the list we have, let's talk about The Social Dilemma on Netflix too. So this is a pretty decent um, documentary talking about, of course, the perils of social media. Um, it kind of uh, intercuts it with this weird sort of like drama thing tv series sort of clips where you're following this family um who are at varying levels of social media addiction from the really young girl who's wrapped up her entire image on the platform to this young boy here at the top of this image who is essentially being what groomed to be some sort of incel i don't know what he's being groomed to be on the show and then of course there's a young girl on it who's essentially over it and still reads books right she reads books in 2020 which is mad but um it's a fairly cool documentary if anything it's a little bit scare tactory like it looks like they went out of their way to make something that's like purposely bleak um about the future a bit pessimistic and i think for the most part if you've kind of kept a if you kind of been keeping attention and reading books such as like you know selfie by wall store um there's other ones as well like uh so you've been publicly shamed um is another good one that kind of speaks about it and i'm gonna say what's another good one that speaks about it so you've been publicly shamed selfie one get us here blah, blah, blah. oh and um the gerard diamond book um uh, 10 reasons why you should get off social media you'd know that there is a movement out there especially within silicon valley of people who are essentially um decrying the influence that it's having nowadays on society on politics on young children and people in general and there is this fear that you know it can go too far don't get me wrong yes that's true but there is this um acceptance i feel in a documentary and sometimes a little bit of hypocrisy especially when it comes to the guy what's his name chamat um what's his name chamat chamat paplitian guy right who was essentially head of growth marketing at facebook who now is essentially telling us all the perils of social media and how it's so bad for you and he was the one in charge of building the framework right putting into practice some of the things that have essentially led us to the place that we're in at the moment now for me i'm in a bit of a privileged position because i've had opportunity to work in with various startups on various levels of their progression uh uh you know um from ones that are like with 50 people some with like 400 people and i've seen um the lengths that they go to keep users engaged to acquire more users um to you know uh for their marketing efforts to reach a wider audience it's a very exact science it's something that can get a little bit um crazy once you you know look see if what it is but unfortunately it's kind of where the world is going and i think it was always going in this direction now the thing that i would have liked to have seen more from this documentary because we all know what the benefit what the harms are with social media it would have been great to have seen um the answer for it like a solution or solutions provided you know whether it was providing advice for parents for young children for people in university for people working on nine to five like how could they go about limiting the amount of time that they're spending on their smartphone limit the amount of time they're spending on these social media platforms and it really wasn't none of it it was all just scare tactics about how bad things are getting and you know they're going to change your mind and sway your opinion about elections all this sort of good stuff it's like all right cool we get how how problematic these things are but there does need to be some sort of uh understanding of okay we're in this shit now at the moment it looks like it's not going to change anytime soon can you give me a solution or a way that i can best put that i can kind of put into practice that's going to benefit me my friends and my family and that wasn't really given especially considering a lot of the people that were interviewed were people that were instrumental in making social media exactly what it is now to this day so for those people to sit there and you know talk about all the negatives to our social media but not give us any solutions was a little bit rich now again that might be because there's another show coming up that i'm not really familiar with um in the pipeline but i thought that was where it sort of fell short and after maybe what 30 minutes of watching it i kind of got the drift of where it was going so again i don't really understand the 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 excitement over this documentary i think if you've read most of the books that i mentioned prior even if you just read read um that jaron diamond's book um 10 reasons why you should um stay off social media i think it's something something that called i listened to an audio book a while back you'll know just how um you know you know how just dangerous those platforms can be for some people or for society in general and there are some really cool techniques and approaches right there are these um these things such as um 
dopamine detoxes that you can do where essentially you um, restrict yourself from using social media for a certain period of time um, to sort of reset your dopamine perceptors so you're not always kind of looking for that next hit picking up your phone due to like a random a phantom vibration or all those sort of goods or the phantom notification that they sort of purposely um, engineer in a weird psyop piece or way there are solutions that, that can be kind of done um and just in general, right? There's even, you know, especially with Sober October coming up, there's an opportunity to spend like 30 days and sort of like completely limit the amount of time you're spending on these apps. But it would be great if those platforms were able, or the documentary essentially was able to kind of put that forward instead of, you know, just painting this really bleak picture, which of course it is bleak in some respects, but I think it did go a little bit over, over the top. So um, again, I think it's fairly informative. It did do a good job of kind of laying the line and telling you what the issues were, but I would have preferred, I would have preferred a little bit more solutions when it comes to um, telling me how I can go about uh, living a fruitful life without being, you know, um, beholden to my phone. But again, um, check it out if you want to. It's on social, it's on, sorry, it's on, social, it's on Netflix. It's called The Social Dilemma. Fairly straightforward documentary, about an hour and 30 minutes long. I recommend you check it out. Doo -doo 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 -doo.